The ranks of Russian Z patriots have become completely disillusioned with Russian President Vladimir Putin after the Ukrainian armed forces successfully entered the Kursk region. The well-known Stalinist Sergei Kurginyan has publicly spoken about the weakness of the Putin regime and Russia. He made a frank statement in an interview with a Russian resource. The Z Patriot admitted that the Kremlin underestimated the enemy and called the overconfident sentiments about capturing Kiev in three days unacceptable. Kurginyan very harshly criticized the Russian army, which slept through the Ukrainian offensive in the Kursk region. The army was at the toilet. No one needed it. It was almost an atavism. This shitty situation cannot be corrected by a patriotic cry. Why is everything not like this? Why aren't you in Kiev? Why aren't you in Warsaw? Why are the generals so bad? And where will the good ones come from? Said the Russian ultra-patriot. He also mocked Russian dictator Vladimir Putin and his threats against the West. What red lines are you talking about? We'll do this and that. We'll blow everyone away. Is there a blow-up? There's nothing worse than a strong gesture by a weak person, Kurginyan said. Earlier, an eloquent post about Putin was published on August the 16th by the angry patriot Vladimir Kvachkov, a close associate of the Czechist Igor Strelkov. Kvachkov reminded Putin of his video address on February the 24th, 2022. The president announcing the start of the so-called special operation against Ukraine made a very threatening statement to the West. Whoever tries to stop us should know that Russia's response will be immediate, and it will lead to consequences that you have never encountered in your history, Putin said. Now, the Kremlin propaganda refers not to remember those threats that were never realized. Kvachkov called the threats of the Russian dictator show-off. He complained about the weakness of the Russian authorities. Putin, showing off somewhere between the red and brown lines. After the invasion by the Ukrainian armed forces of the Kursk region, it's time to make sure that words coincide with deeds. But no, provoking the enemy with weakness continues, wrote the Russian Z Patriot. Yemen-based Houthi militant group has shared video footage of the attack on a Greek-owned and flagged oil tanker in the Red Sea. The attack on the Saunion, which is carrying 150,000 tons of crude oil, was launched on Wednesday. The 25 crew members of the Greek oil tanker were rescued by a European warship. According to the UK Maritime Trade Operations UKMTO, the tanker was first struck by gunfire from two small boats, which approached at 143 kilometers west of the Yemeni port of Hudaida. The ship was later hit by three unidentified projectiles, which sparked a fire and left it without engine power, it added. The Greek shipping ministry stated that the oil tanker traveled from Iraq to Cyprus. It should be noted that Houthis have launched multiple attacks on ships in the Red Sea. The militant group has targeted more than 80 vessels with missiles and drones since the war in Gaza started in October. The group seized one vessel and sank two in the campaign that also killed four sailors. Thank you.